Hello and thank you for joining me on Ladies in Tech. This is your go-to place for free PLC tutorials on RS Logix 500. Thanks for joining me and don't forget to subscribe. This video is going to be a lecture on data compare instructions. We're going to be using RS Logix 500. A data compare commands are an input instruction that allow much more programming possibilities. Data compare instructions compare the data that is stored in two or more sources and makes a decision based on the programming instruction. Numeric data comparison that can be done are less than, equal to, less than, or equal to, greater than, or equal to, or not equal to. The equal to instruction. If the EQU instruction is true, O colon 0 13 slash 01 turns on. When source A, which is T4 colon 1 dot ACC, so when the accumulated value of timer T4 colon 1 is equal to the source B, and source B right now has a value of 200, the output O colon 0 13 slash 1 turns on. The greater than or equal to instruction, so if the GEQ instruction shown in the figure below is true, O colon 13 slash 1 will turn on. So when source A, which is integer N7 colon 1, is equal or greater than source B, which has a value of 250, the output O colon 013 slash 01 turns on. The greater than instruction, if the GRT instruction is true, O colon 013 slash 01 turns on. When the source A, which is the accumulated value of the counter C5 colon 1, is greater than source B, which is the accumulated value of C5 colon 12 counter, the output O colon 013 slash 01 turns on. Limits. The limit, LIM test, is an input instruction used to test for values inside or outside a specific range. The instruction will be false until the test value is between the two limits. Low limit is a constant or an address for a low range of the test. Test is the address that contains a value to be examined to determine if it is inside or outside a specific range. High limit is a constant or an address for a high range of the test. If figure 4, the lower limit is a constant value of 25, and the high limit is a constant value of 45. The test address is an integer file at n7 colon 0. The instruction will be true, so this will be true, as long as the test value is greater than or equal to the lower limit of 25 and less than or equal to the high limit of 45. Now let's jump over to RS Logix 500 and put the actual instructions in ladder logic. Okay, now let's go to the ladder logic and we're going to implement some data compare commands. So I'm just going to put a push button in here. And this is going to be uh, green PB. We're going to go OK. And let's put a counter in. So I use a count up counter. I'm going to give it a name C5 colon 0. And I'm going to call it counter. I'm going to put a preset of, let's say, 20. And then our accumulated value. So I'm going to put another runner logic in here. And what we'll do is we're going to look at our compare commands and let's put in here greater than and greater than we're going to do our c5 colon 0 dot acc again when that we're going to put the greater than command we'll do that one as well and when we got our compare and we'll do greater than and we're going to say when A is greater than B. So we'll do the counter. Do counter. Oh, C5 
equal in zero dot ACC, the cumulative value of the counter is greater than seven. Let's turn on another light. And here we go. O colon zero slash one. All right, we're going to download that in now. Okay, I downloaded that little bit of logic into our controller. So I'm going to begin pushing the green push button. One, two, three, four. You can see that the cumulative value of source A is equal to four, so the red light comes on. As soon as I push up one more time, it's no longer equal to four, the red light turns off. And the other one, as soon as... So you can see there, I said save everything, and it actually saved the value for the counter. So I'm just going to put that to a zero. And let's do our limit command here. So I'm just going to go into my compare tab, and I get my limits. And I have a low limit and a high limit. So I'm going to put my low limit as a seven, and my high limit as 10. And my test is going to be the accumulated value on that counter C5 colon zero. All right, we're just going to go completeness check and we're going to download. And here we go. So let's watch this limit. We know this guy will be true when we reach four, but once we go not equal to four, it goes off. And now with the limit test, you can see here we're at six. 7, so the limit, low limit 7, so the green light's on. It will stay on for 8, 9, 10, and 11, and it will shut off. That's it. So that's a quick little tutorial on.